This is not science fiction. This is a picture of the final inflation of the Echo 1 satellite balloon, 1,000 miles above the Earth. August 12, 1960, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration orbits the Echo balloon by means of the Delta missile, helped into orbit by a Bell Telephone Command guidance system. August 13th, Bell Laboratories, Holmdale, New Jersey. The first two-way telephone call is made coast to coast via the Echo satellite. Sound someday sent from country to country through outer space. Pictures eventually beam round the globe by man-made moons. Why all this? What does it mean? Well, the relaying of sound and pictures by way of satellites represents a gigantic stride in the pioneering of worldwide communications. For instance, underseas cables, now connecting continents, provide the best in overseas telephone service. But service dependability is only increased by providing more than one kind of communications facility. By using man-made moons, live television programs could be transmitted anywhere in the world by way of outer space and more economically than by underseas cables. Right now, Bell telephone scientists are at work designing even more advanced satellites equipped with operating receivers and transmitters. For if as many as 50 satellites could be put into orbit, we could have continuous transmission of telephone and television signals the world over. In helping to launch the Echo satellite, telephone men reached a new milestone. And probing even further into the vast potentials of outer space is a continuation of the Bell System's job of providing you and the nation with the best communications in the world.